good day everyone and welcome to my channel where we make structural engineering design easy and simple my name is Oludu Konyedi and I'm your host I want to say big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to our channel and those who are yet to sign uh, sign up or subscribe to our channel I will encourage you to click the subscribe button and click the like and notification button so that when next we post something like this you will get it quickly and also i want to still appreciate all who have been asking questions and giving us encouraging words i really appreciate you like what i said in our last video if you want to ask question please tell us your location where you are chatting us from or commenting from which state if you're in nigeria which of the states but if you're outside nigeria tell us the country that you are chatting us from or commenting from we, we, we've been getting a lot of a lot of um, of questions and today we'll be handling the question from joseph from accra ghana joseph from accra ghana he says how do you change the grid line let's say for it to be one two three four rather than four three two one that is changing your labels in your grid line how do you go about that another question from mass mohammed said can you please attach the dwg file yes mohammed we promise you that the next video we we upload that so if you check the comments and um, the description um, bar for the description of this video we will drop the 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 link for you to get the autocad file that we've been using so that you can practice and if you have any other question you can ask we will be handling that now so today we'll be talking about how to rename your label in your grid line to do that you have two options either you do it from scratch one after the other you create the grid lines one after the other or after you finish the grid line you start editing so let's dive straight in you click your axis axis line let's assume this label now is showing us a so if we click we click to draw hold down your control key so that it will be straight if we click that you see it's a then if we offset when we offset it keeps automatically keeps directing it but if this is not what you want let's assume we we've created a b c d e and you want it to be one two three four five click on the grid line you want to change right click click on property go to label whatever you want let's say we want one click on one and click update same thing with we do same thing with this other one same thing with this right click property let's say two updates right click property you say three updates right click we say four four you click updates good 
close the last you click property you click five you said updates good now we've done one two three four but you want your five to start first four three two one if that is what you want please pay attention this is where the trick is this is where the trick is so if you click on this you want to change this to five right click property if you click five and you click update it won't change it will not change please pay attention this is where most people make the mistake this is where they make mistake the reason why five will not change is because there exists five already there's a five already so there can be two five on the system it must be only one five so what do we do or what can you advise we do so what we can do is you right click you can say the first thing you need to do is you need to change this now or depending on how you want to start you can change this to a 5a first update becomes 5a close come to this part click on this you say 5 once you click 5 it changes 4 will not change if you change 4 yeah it will not change so what do you do you change this to let's say 4a 4a updates close so you can change this now to 4 4 you say update we have our three here so provided we can change this to two because there's no two on the system so if you change it to two it will fly updates click on updates uh-huh then come here change this to to one and it will change updates good so with this we've been able to change it from one two three four five two five four three two one this is how you change it this is how you change it so this is one method of doing it this is one method of doing it so if your you have your grid lines this one method i will delete this and show you another method we delete so if you come here whatever thing you want to start if you want to start from five you change this to five and you draw hold down your control key and you are good but the thing is if you if you now say offset if you offset it keeps increasing it keep increasing but we want it to decrease <clears throat> so same principle that we've done before <clears throat> same principle that we've done before <clears throat> is that if you offset it you have to manually change them as we have said or provided there is no four already existing so it will easily change it will easily change so this is how you change your 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 grid lines if you want to change your grid lines you can say this is two this is two same principle so either which way you use we can delete if you want to and we use this auto generate click here you say okay 
if one two three you can change the same principle whatever if you want to change you want to start from a b c d provided there is d here it won't change so either you say a a1 just put something a1 and you update so if you've done that you can easily change this to to a same principle same principle easy that is how you can change your grid lines so same principle if there's one already and you want to change this to one it won't work so either you make this one a or something else so that you can easily change that one joseph from accra ghana this is how you can change your grid lines as easy as that so we will be stopping here if you have any question we will be very glad to answer it but first you must subscribe before you ask your question you tell us where you are you are commenting from so uh, mas mohammed at the tail at the end of this video just check the, the described um tab the described uh, column we will drop the file the autocad file for you to practice so if you've gained and if you've benefited from any of our video please click the subscribe button for it to really it will really encourage us and we'll do more as you ask the question so remember let's until we post our next video. Thank you.